Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. Uh, in this video, I just wanna go over how to use LT Spice to run transient analysis uh, for those that missed it in the lab demonstration. So here I've got LT Spice. I'm going to open up a, start a new schematic here. Expand this out a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my voltage source. Right, and to get to this, um, that com add component screen, you're gonna right click on the blank space, go to draft uh, component, or alternatively, right, you can press F2 here, uh, which is what I'll be doing. So I'm gonna add a resistor, rotate it with uh, Control R or Command R on Mac, and then I'm gonna need a capacitor. So here I've got my uh, low pass filter topology set up. I'm going to right click draft wire to connect up my circuit right and we drag these crosshairs and we can um, click go through a component click again and just repeat that process until you've got all your connections made here so here we've got our circuit uh, next thing that we want to do is set our source values so i've got five volts on the voltage source i'm going to put 10 Kilo ohm, so you can put K and it'll register as, um, you know, times 10 to the third, and then uh, 10 microfarad, so you can put 10 and U will register as a micro. So we've got 10K, uh, 10 micro, 5 volts. And the next thing that I like to do is label my nets, or my nodes rather. Um, so we go to, we right click again, go to draft net name. And we can start off with ground. So you can click on that, or you can type in zero. And there's that's going to be our ground. Uh, in both cases, right, the uh, ground is going to be this bottom node. And I'm going to just hit uh, F4 for a new one. So this I'm going to call first my input. Um, so this is the input, right, to our um, our low pass filter here, we're injecting this five volt uh, voltage source. And I'm going to label the output node, right? And it's just this unknown node that we've got uh, where we derive the dynamics uh, previously. Right, so we derive the dynamics across this capacitor, uh, dynamics of the voltage across this capacitor. Um, and I will do that in, a, in another video but we'll just go ahead and, and run it here. So I've got my circuit drawn up. The next thing that I would need to do is set some initial conditions. So we're gonna right click the right um, the blank space and go to spice directive. And I'm going to do dot IC right, for initial condition. And I wanna set the voltage at the output. So I'm gonna do capital V and then in parentheses out one, I'm gonna set this voltage um, to be zero initially. So we'll go ahead, hit enter, put that wherever you want. And then I'm gonna put a new spice directive. So I'm just gonna do the uh, shortcut S key here. And now what I want to do is run a transient analysis, dot tran. And I'm, I need to specify a start time. So I'm gonna start at time zero. And I'm going to run this uh, for five tau, right? So tau in our case um, is R times C, right? So that's um, 10,000 times 10 uh, micro. So we've got 0 0.1, which is 100 milliseconds. So five tau, right? We're going to run it for 500 milliseconds. So I'm going to do 500 M for millise uh, lowercase m for milliseconds. You know, and alternatively, you could do 0.5 and just 500 m. So now we have our spice directives, and when we hit the running, the running person up here, uh, we'll get a scope plot, right? So here's my my little scope plot here. And you know, before you pull me over in lab and tell me that nothing's working, right, in order to get any any signals on this plot, you have, you need to probe something. So in our case, I'm just going to probe the input, sorry, uh, the input voltage, right? So we click on this node, 
Let me see that uh, at time zero, it steps up to, to five volts. And then I'm also gonna look at the output. All right, so we start at time zero, um, we're at zero volts and we, we exponentially rise up to, to five volts. So to make measurements um, on this scope plot here, uh, we can left click this label and it'll bring up this uh, little cursor measurements, right? So we're taking measurements at zero, right? So at time zero, time tau, time five tau, time, uh, time tau, time two tau, all the way up to five tau. Right, so we, we drag this little crosshair to what, um, what time that we're interested in looking at. And it, since we clicked on this voltage or this label, um, it's going to be tracking this uh, curve here. So time zero, right, we're at zero volts. Uh, time tau is about, well, it is um, 100 milliseconds here. So I'm just gonna drag that over to 100. And that's about 100, so we're about uh, 3.16 volts. Two tau, you know, we're at 4.3. Uh, and so on, right? So we're exponentially increasing, we're recording values at uh, different time constants there. So hopefully that uh, that clears things up for you guys uh, regarding how to make these, set this up in LTSpice. Um, just another thing to note is, you know, this bottom node is gonna be ground even when we swap the resistor and capacitor. And this input node is always going to be tied uh, to this voltage source because we're injecting that that five volt source and, and you know this unknown node that we solve the dynamic equation for that's uh, going to be our output uh, for this case right but with that uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for tuning in see you next time